Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to send an email with a grid view data to a Gmail account using C Sharp. Now I am entering the same email id charantrika at gmail.com but before send this grid view to this email id let's open my gmail account gmail.com charantrika gmail next next I want to send that grid view to this gmail account. Now I am clicking send button. Refresh. See here we got grid view data. You can check the time 0 minutes ago. Here we got the grid view control. Charan, Sam, Chetrika, Peter, Mark. Charan, Sam, Chetrika, Peter, Mark. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice in this browser, I have already data binder to a grid view control for my database. And now my aim is I want to send this grid view control to my Gmail account. For that, I am using one button control and one text box control. Let's open Visual Studio, we'll write the coding part. And this is the code we have just seen on the browser. What I'm doing after the break below the grid view control, I'm adding one button control, go to toolbox, button control, and one text box control. I'm changing the button name send. That's it in the designing part. Now we have a grid view control, one button and one text box control. Switch to the design mode. Double click the button control. Here we got the button click event. To implement the email functionality, we need the namespace using system.net.mail and also I am using the stream rider to read the grid view data. For that I am using the IVO namespace using system.ivo. After adding these two namespaces, now in the button click event, I'm writing the functionality to send an email. String writer SWG is equals to new string writer. Is a, I have created an object. Now I'm adding the string writer object to HTML, a writer object, text writer. HT is equals to new string HTML text writer. And this text writer takes an object which is a SW. Now the next step is I'm adding the HTML text writer object to my grid view control. Grid view one, which is a grid view ID dot render control is an object. I'm adding HT. Now we'll write the mail functionality. Mail message mm is equals to new mail message, which takes four parameters, but I'm adding only the from and to objects only. From here I'm adding my email ID charantrika at gmail.com. Comma. Now the second parameter is the two. The two is I'm adding text box control ID. Text box one dot text. Mm dot 
body is equals to h1 I'm adding h1 tax grid view details horizontal line also I'm adding plus I'm adding the grid view data so for that I'm using SWG string writer object dot to string method mm dot is body html is equals to true mm dot subject grid view data now I'm implementing the SMTP client SMTP client SMTP is equals to new SMTP client SMTP dot host here the host I'm adding the gmail SMTP dot gmail dot com SMTP dot port the port number for the gmail is 587 smtp dot enable ssl is equals to true after that i'm adding network credentials which belongs to the system dot net dot network credential nc is equals to new system dot net dot network credentials which takes five parameters the first one is a username and the second one is a password I'm entering here between double quotes I'm adding my gmail account for login comma and the password is password just for the security reasons I am not entering my real password but the, at the time of sending an email I will change into real credentials so you have to enter your gmail password here smtp.use default credentials is equals to true smtp.credentials is equals to NC it's a network credentials I'm adding here NC and the last one I'm adding the SMTP dot send method I'm sending the message which takes a mail message object the mail message object is MM MM that's it we have done the coding part to send an email let's check the output on the browser google chrome so here we got the output we have a grid view control send button and the text box control now i'm entering my email account to the same id terentric at gmail.com you can enter any valid gmail account to send this grid view control now let's check the output when I click send say I got an error the control grid view one of type grid view must be placed inside a form tag with run at is equal to server to fix this error we need to override the render verifying server form control method in my previous video I have explained about this method public override void verify rendering server from control I don't require this base dot now let's check the final output Google Chrome After adding the override verifying rendering and server form method, now I am entering the same email id charantrika at gmail.com. But before send this grid view to this email id, let's open my gmail account gmail.com. 
चरंत्रिक जी में नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट I want to send that grid view to this Gmail account. Now I'm clicking send button. Refresh. See here we got grid view data. You can check the time zero minutes ago. Here we got the grid view control. Charan Sam Chetrika Peter Mark Charan Sam Chetrika Peter Mark That's it